Hello and welcome back to another episode of Steve's Reviews. So, here it is. The retro Amazon Echo. Let's see if it works. I've got the lights off so you can see it better. If it works. So here we go. Now I'm going to try and merge one of these, an Amazon Echo, with this, which is the Steeple Tone 1934 replica old model thing. It's actually called the NR881C, and I have no idea how it sounds. So before I modify it, let's have a look and have a listen to how it actually sounds. I'm going to plug it in, and hopefully it works and doesn't blow me up or set anything on fire, which would be a disaster. Ooh, it's got nice little lights on the inside. I don't know if you can see those. That's quite cool. I'm going to be able to keep those when I do the conversion. What else has it got? Tuning. Volume. Oh, that's really stiff, this. We're getting there. Well, it's got an okay sound, but the I think bloody hell, that's really stiff. It's got a nice sound, but. If I cut that out there, that's because, unfortunately, YouTube won't let me use that small segment of music without penalising me. So I've decided to cut that out. But with that said, I think we should probably get started. Now, the first thing I need to do is get this open. So let's have a look what's inside. Keep that in. Hopefully I don't find any spiders in here because I absolutely hate spiders. I'm not going to use the radio, but it's not a problem. Like that. Okay, this looks interesting. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to put that over there. Right, let's have a look inside here. So, really, I need to remove all of it. I think it's going to take quite some time okay I've gone to get this which is my, my Makita drill slash driver which is gonna make things a bit quicker I'm sure this is definitely the scientific way to do this okay so this mess is now basically everything from the inside of here <coughs> oh god that went down the wrong way <coughs> right let's try that again everything here is what was in here i'm going to leave this in there for a moment but you can see now that is just an empty shell and you can see my hand through it now what i'm hoping to achieve is somehow put this which is the Echo uh, Dot inside here with an attached speaker in this section. Now, I might need to open this up, I don't know, but what I'm hoping, will this fit? Oh, how frustrating. That is literally a couple of millimeters too big. How annoying is that? That Oh, it's totally frustrating. What does this look like on? I'm actually quite excited now. That works better than I thought. I might not need to take the Echo apart at all, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use 
the Echo Dots 3.5mm audio doodah on the back here and attach a speaker to it, a bigger one, in the top so it sounds better. And what I'm also going to do is, when I plugged it in a moment ago, this in itself doesn't look particularly retro when you plonk it on there like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that sheet there, this kind of retro thing, and maybe try and fix it or glue it, give it a bit of a, a skin. Now there's probably lots of you at home going, no, don't do that. You're supposed to use a protractor and compass or something like that. But do you know what? I haven't used those since GCSE Maths. I wish I had done though, because it would have made things much easier. That is now cut out. But if you ignore the fact that it's not round at all, I actually think I've cut it out to be quite round. So I'm very impressed with that. Slash not impressed at all. But I don't think that will matter because when it's inside the round thing, I don't think you're actually going to be able to tell at all. But doing it like this means I'm not going to cover up any of those. The only other problem I'm going to have is the buttons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some very small holes in the top and bottom of this. So what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to build a little slot that this can slot in so that I can remove it easily. So I'm going to put this like bit of wood at the bottom here so I can slot it in. Uh, but I'm going to screw that down and see where we're at I'm not 100% certain what I'm going to do next. Because bear in mind I need enough room up here to put a speaker or do a little platform with a speaker on at the top. Uh, Obviously that can wait for now, but I do need to work out what I'm going to do with this and how I'm going to mount it. So let's screw that down and we'll go from there. Right, now that the front is all done and looking kind of like it did right at the start, if we turn it over, oh, well you'll see I've put that in as well. If we turn it over, that is what it looks like on the inside at the moment, which isn't that attractive, I will admit, but I'm not a craftsman. It still works. I've built this kind of like little thing here that just holds it in place and I've wedged a bit of paper behind it to wedge it against the front screen, which works for now. What I will do eventually is put a bit of Velcro on the inside of this so I can actually attach it to it and it's not gonna jiggle around very much. But at the moment, it's very, very straightforward. It's nothing fancy, but it'll do. This here is the cable for uh, the power, and this is a 3.5mm audio input, which I can attach to a speaker. So I've got one over here, which I found perfectly fits on the inside of here like that. But I'm not going to use this permanently. I think I might change it to a more square type one that fits in a bit bigger, but it'll do for now and it sits in very, very nicely along the top there. Now if I plug this in here, like so, like that, turn it on. Now all of the sound, ah, it seems to be playing. Well, that is very ominous indeed. Alexa, stop. Anyway, that, as you can see, is now coming out of the speaker. Now, with this particular speaker, I'm going to have to plug in a little charging thing into it just here, which isn't an issue. I can just get something now to do that. I've got that there, that will do. Okay, I think in the final build, when I've actually had time to do it all properly, I think I will probably put much smaller wiring in here because it's going to be a bit of a pain. Right, so that's plugged in there like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug all this together into this here and then use this one cable coming out the back rather than having multiple cables coming out the back. Right, that goes back in there like that. There we are. There's only one cable now coming out the back. Now the real question is, does it now work? So here we go.
that working? Is that on? I believe it's on. And there we go. That looks incredible and much nicer than the normal Echo. And I think it will look fantastic on my shelf just over here. But, oh, that was the speaker blowing up probably. But give it a second and I'll just do a very quick test. While we wait for it to connect to the internet, let me show you in further detail my Frankenstein's monster. Much has remained the same. The fabric is of an unknown material, probably from a process forgotten in the Victorian period. The buttons have words on that are as unused nowadays as ancient Latin. That said, this is an elegant machine that unfortunately had old relics of the past inside it. Until now, with the Amazon Alexa voice service and a Sony SRS speaker, this is now a powerhouse machine that competes even with the newest devices on the market. And it's yours for only $14,999.99 and is available on Stu's Reviews Patreon. Link in description, terms and conditions apply. So, it's now paired up to the internet. The question is, does it work? Alexa. Hello. Hi there. Well, it seems to work. And you can ask it to do things like normal echo. Alexa, set a timer for 20 seconds. 20 seconds, starting now. Alexa, cancel timer. 20 second timer canceled. Well, I'm really happy with that. But as you can see, unfortunately, the light is a little dim at the bottom. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn this on. So you can see me a little bit better. It is a bit disappointing that the light isn't brighter, but I can't change that. Only Amazon can change that. So Amazon, please, if you're watching this, please, please allow me to change the brightness of the LEDs on the Echo. But it also allows me to do the normal things like your Amazon Echo, such as Bluetooth to it. Alexa. Turn on Bluetooth. Searching. So I don't see anything to connect. Check the device you'd like to use and make sure Bluetooth is turned on. To set up a new device, go to your Alexa app. Alexa. Connect it to Stuart's iPhone. There now that you're paired, next time just say, connect my phone. The time is 1.43 p.m. Thank you. Let's play a bit of music from my phone. And there we go. Guys, thank you very much for watching. And if you like this bit of a special episode of Stu's Reviews, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you back for another episode of Stu's Reviews soon. Yeah, I'm very happy with this. Hmm.